This is gonna be a little bit of a haphazard video because I'm just making it on the fly without too much planning. But this came from a question that I got in my learning community today where somebody was asking, you know, when I have an arrangement of objects like this that I just wanna put evenly spaced on an artboard, how do I do that? Is there a way that you can just go boom and it's done? Wouldn't that be great? Um, so I struggled uh, to think about this because I thought, mm, I know how to do it using the align panel in Illustrator, but I'm sure there's a script out there that does this. So I'm just gonna walk us through some of the things that we talked about in the community today and uh, some things that I found as I was doing my research. So first of all, let's just start with the Illustrator way of doing this. So I'm just going to select all of these um, oddly shaped objects here. And one way that you can do this is just by using the align panel. So if you decide, you know, where you want one, your, one of your objects to be, and you want the other one to be over here, then you can select the top row here and use the align top button there. Then you can use the distribute like that. And then you can also group them together and center them. Um, and so now they have a nice, you know, arrangement across the artboard here. Um, and so I could do the same thing for these down here, or I could turn on smart guides. That's command or control U, but I'm going to use the properties panel as well. So while I have nothing selected and I'm using my black arrow, I have all of these buttons here in the properties panel that are sort of document wide settings. So this makes it easy to, um, you know, turn on your smart guides. And so I'm just going to grab my smart guides there. And that way I can start, you know, aligning using the smart guide. So maybe I'll just come down here and space that there. And I'll try to align this one to these two here and then maybe align to this. Now, another thing we're seeing here that's kind of interesting is it's got that little, um, you know, it's kind of showing us that that object is centered right in there with even spacing. So that's great. Um, Smart Guides does have the ability to do that. So let me just copy some of these down here and just show you that, you know, if I align this one like that, you saw there's a little bit of spacing right there. And those spacing guides are going to light up when I get this one at the same spacing. Or it should. But the problem that we have a lot of the time with Smart Guides is that it's trying to align to that one up there. So it doesn't quite know what you're aligning to. So let me see if I can get the distance guide to show up. Yeah, that time it worked. So it's a little bit of zooming in and zooming out and hopefully you don't have too many things um, that are uh, being snapped to by those guys. Uh, smart guides can be very helpful, but they can also you know, sn uh, line up with other things in your, your file. All right, so that's kind of the align panel way to do it and a little bit of smart guides. Now, one other thing that I want to show you on the align panel that's really helpful. So let's just say I'll make this one a little bit narrower and I'll add, oops, I forgot I grouped those. Let me ungroup them and I'll add another one down here. And so let's say that I want these evenly spaced here. So I'll just grab all of them. And currently we're aligning to the selection. And you can see that here in these buttons here. So it's automatically chosen aligned to selection. So that's the whole bounding box here. Um, and so I can distribute across that bounding box and I can go to the align to the top or uh, to the bottom. Uh, to the top <laughs> and um, but I can also make even spacing between these here so the way to do that is to use a key object so while I have these selected here I can just click on this one let's say I want it to be my key object and that highlights it um, and that means everything I'm doing now is going to be um, aligned on this object here um, and then I've got distribute spacing and I've already put in 150 pixels. Let's see what that looks like. So when you have a key object, you can use this area right here and I'm gonna use 150 pixels and that spaces them out. Oh, and it, it barely changed. So let's try another 100. Um, so if you have to change the spacing, you have to enter that and then you have to click the button again. So now there's an even amount of spacing between those. So couple of different ways to do essentially the same thing in Illustrator. 
All right, so I think we've done everything that we can do with the align um, feature, but also we have grids in Illustrator. So if you wanna turn on your grid, um, again, I'm using the buttons here on the properties panel. I have nothing selected. I have um, my black arrow, my selection tool uh, ready to go, and I'm going to turn on the grid. And I can use this feature here, snap to grid, um, to do this. And I think it works best if you're gonna snap to the grid to also make sure that you turn off um, smart guides. Um, just because, like I was saying before, they flash on and off and, you know, they might be giving you conflicting information because we're really focusing on the grid now. Um, so I've got snap to grid on, I've got, I've turned the grid on. And so now I can just move these objects here. And this was the idea of another person in the community. They suggested this, this is how they like to do this. And I thought this was a good, um, a good thing to, to look over too. Um, so we can use the grid here to line things up. And uh, so now here, if I, I need to line that to that grid line there so that I can put this on this grid line. And one thing that I've done here um, is the grid that I'm using is not the default. Um, I've done a little different setting here. So I wanna show you that. You can find the grid settings in preferences, go to Illustrator, um, settings, and then right here, guides and grid. And by default, we have a grid line every 72 pixels, so that's every inch. And I've used two subdivisions, whereas I think by default it's like eight, um, which if you have eight, you'll have a much finer grid here and the snapping won't happen um, or won't be as um, obvious. So if you're gonna use snap to grid to arrange something like this, then you might wanna just make your grid a little bit more, uh, less fine, more obvious. All right, so those are kind of the illustrator ways of doing it. Now let's look at some other ways to do this. So let's say we're doing the same thing here, but now we're uh, looking for some outside help. So one way to do this is to use a script. Um, and I hadn't used this before, but I went out and found it by uh, searching for it. And this one is, let's go here, and I've got my object selected. And what this script does is it arranges your objects um, evenly on a grid and it does it uh, on the artboard. Um, so let's go over here to File and Scripts. And this one is called Distribute Stacked Objects. And this is by John Wendes. And I'm going to put the link to this uh, below the video. All right, so if we use Distribute Stacked Objects, what we get is a place to enter uh, the distance between or the padding between the objects. So I'm going to choose 150 or I'm going to type in 150, click OK. G is already chosen for us. So that's grid, but we can align vertically or horizontally as well. So I'm going to click OK and we can see what it does. So it's, it's, um, definitely putting these on the artboard. In fact, if I had these objects elsewhere, it would move them to this artboard. Um, and it's just putting them in this arrangement. If I had more objects here, it would probably do four columns. I sort of played around with it, but we don't have a lot of control in how it is arranged um, on the artboard other than it's just nice and centered up right here. So that's a script, it's a free script. Um, another way to do this, let's go here, let me grab these and bring them back down here is um, to use a plugin and um, this one is uh, a part of a subscription so it's not free um, it's part of the astute graphics subscription and so what I'm going to do is get this out by going to my selection tool here and I'm in the advanced menu so I've got all the astute graphics tools showing up and I'm just gonna use a tear off tool panel and this one's called Collider Scribe and what this does, here it is, um, it does something similar to what I showed you before with the, um, the smart guides, how they kind of light up when you have that spacing. And you know, it, right now I have some spacing settings on here. So uh, to do this, to add this setting, you're gonna wanna double click on this tool. And then here um, in the settings, we can use collision spacing. So this is gonna just put 150 pixels 
between these objects. So we're gonna see that guide light up when everything is 150 pixels um, apart. So um, I'll click OK, and you can see that, that blue guide right there. So I could decide wherever I want this first square to be, and then let's move some of these out of the way a little bit less noise and then I'm just pulling them apart and it's showing me when it's aligned um, in you know vertically and when it's got that um, amount of spacing in there so I'll do this right here um, and let me just do this one so I so here here I'm able to get 150 pixels from that uh, square there but here maybe I want this row to start here so then I'll go ahead and get that 150 pixels like that. And then I could put other ones here. So that's a really helpful plugin. That's Collider Scribe by Astute Graphics, and that's part of subscription. Now we're going to look at some AI plugins. So artificial intelligence in Adobe Illustrator. And both of these you can find in your window menu under extensions if you have them installed. This is Arranger, which is a free plugin, and Mate which is about $5 a month. Um, and I'm using this one as kind of a, a test because I want to learn more about it. Um, this is Mate right here. And let's go ahead and open Arranger, uh, Extensions Arranger. Now these you can also find um, if you go into uh, here in the Creative Cloud Desktop app um, under Manage Plugins and Plugins here. Here it is. We can see I have it installed and here's Mate. Um, you can Google for these as well and I'll, I'll put a link in the description uh, to the video. All right, so let's, uh, let's first let's check out, I'm gonna close that one. Let's check out Arranger because this is the free one and I'm gonna start from scratch here with my selection of objects here just placing them on the artboard and so as you can see here we have different ways that we can arrange them as a in a, a radial in a grid um, and some other things here too so let's say i want to do this in a grid and i want it to be three columns uh, with 150 pixels of space between the objects uh, horizontally and vertically and then i'm going to click arrange and there we go. So I'm not sure why that one is in the middle. Let's see if I do this again. I can get these to, to work a little better. So we've got three columns, clicking arrange. Hmm. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna do, um, how about 75 and 75? Let's move them closer together. Um, and click arrange. Huh, there's just one that seems to wanna to stay in the middle there. That may be user error, I really don't know. Uh, let's try radial. Okay, so I see what's happening there. Okay, let's go try this again. All right, so it's doing something, but it seems to always wanna put this one in the middle. Um, so I had more success with this earlier, and I'm not sure why it's uh, acting a little differently right now, but um, it's free and you can play around with it and probably maybe even get it to work better than I did. Um, all right, so that's Arranger. I'm gonna close the Arranger panel and now go up to the window menu, extensions and open Mate. Um, and I have to admit, I don't know a lot about this. I've been paying for it for a couple months to learn, um, but I still have a long way to go. All right, so we can, um, do a regular chat with prompts to get Illustrator to follow our instructions, um, or we can work with text or even generating images, which is kind of fun. So let's go to chat here. And what I have here are some saved chats that I've done, but you can also you know, type a prompt in here, uh, press that button. Um, I'm gonna go to one that I've already done. Let me just come right here and I have my uh, stuff selected and I have arranged selected objects in a grid evenly spaced. So let me click run and what it's giving me, this is cool, I didn't see this before. Um, it's giving me, uh, probably because I saved this prompt, um, some parameters here that I can use. So three columns, two rows, horizontal spacing, vertical spacing. Let's just click OK. Um, so that's cool. I'm not sure why that uh, that this is actually 20 points because um, this artboard is all like 1920. So that 
not, that's not quite right, but um, it looks actually really good. So what if we go back here and we type in, let's, uh, let's say I'm gonna undo that. Um, so we're back to where we started from and I'll say um, space selected objects evenly in a grid on artboard and then enter and it says it's doing it <laughs> it's going out to the cloud um, to do this so it might be busy right now which is why it's taking a, a few seconds here and look what it's done okay let me just zoom out so it's really put them uh, along the edge of the artboard. And this is so, um, I haven't used this enough to really get how it works, but it's pretty typical of some of the responses that I've gotten. It, it's almost like it, it almost gets it and then it doesn't quite. So I don't know why, you know, it's going off the edge there, but it's definitely evenly spaced and it's aligned up here in the upper left corner. So this may be user error again, maybe my prompts are not so great. Um, so let's say less spacing, <laughs> try that. It's so interesting. Again, I'm really, I'm not very good at this. So, uh, or at least I, le I need more practice is exactly what it is. And, uh, yeah, perfect. It's less spacing. This is great. Okay. So let's say, um, um, let's say, um, space objects. 150 pixels apart. And maybe I need to say selected objects, space selected objects, 150 pixels apart um, in a grid arrangement. And now I haven't said anything about the artboard, so it, it is probably gonna ignore the artboard as it should. Um, all right, 150 pixels apart in a grid arrangement. So I definitely see that it's right there and it's right there. But anyway, um, this is just an introduction to using this tool. It's a lot of fun to play with and uh, I know I need to dedicate some more time to it myself. And if you've got comments, you can certainly add some suggestions of your own for prompts that I might use with this or videos you wanna send me to so I can learn a little bit more. And then also let me know which one of the solutions you liked the best, or maybe you have a solution that I didn't even think of um, that you can add as well. So put that in the comments. It's been really fun to do. Um, I love working with the people in my community because we're all throwing out ideas and questions and learning from each other all the time. So if you haven't met me, I'm Laura Coyle and I teach Illustrator here on YouTube and in my online learning community. To find out more, you can go to lauracoylecreative.com and thank you so much for watching.